Hey everyone, today we are setting up a new sack in our Pure Flow for our next stage dialysis system. I have not done a video of removing the sack yet, and we will do that when we remove this sack. But Casey's going to set up this sack today. So we get our sack. All right, I start by pushing go. That's what it tells you to do. It says open door and load set. You open this door, open this little flap right there. Open the sack. This thing all the way out. in here in the middle so you can unfold it so the lines are at the top I always pull them all the way out like this and take the trash out it's in the middle totally evenly So then you gotta take off all these little tabs right here. How many tabs are there? There's only two tabs on there. Take those away. Try to untangle all this mess. And prior to us ever touching our cycler or our pure flow, we wash our hands for a full 60 seconds sanitize and put gloves on. And then I usually just throw sanitizer on the gloves just to make sure, but. All right, so then you take this little conjunction piece right here where they're all kind of together. And you load it in here, these little clips. With the thick line. Thick, leading towards your other door. Thick line going to the right because that's going to go through this little thing right here. Then you close this. Then all these lines, you got to make sure they're going down so they don't get pinched. And then you close your door like it tells you to. And then once it's closed, it'll tell you to connect the lines. So... When we connect the lines, there's a few lines that have to be connected. The first one I do is I take these things, you gotta slide these little clips off to straighten out the lines. You can slide this green piece all the way down so it covers them, it keeps it open. You do the same thing on this one. Which we have had a few errors regarding that. So those two are open now. They're all the way down as far as we'll go. But if that error comes up, we will show you how to easily fix it. And then this thing's always in the way. So I stick it through this little door over here. So it's out of my way. And then you take this piece off. And you make sure this is tight. And when you disconnect this thing, I always leave this extra piece on. You don't have to, but it just keeps this sanitary so that when you open this, you don't want to touch the inside of that. And the same goes with this. You want to keep it so you don't touch anything. So you take this piece off, throw that one away, and then this one you connect straight to here and then I always while I did that make sure all these lines are open all the glue cars are unclamped yep everything's got to be unclamped and then this other middle line right here that comes out of the thing this is you have to keep this sanitary too that's what the conductivity line so I always go underneath so I'm not touching anything 
open it and it goes in the middle prong right here you screw it on what color prong it's orange it's in the middle okay so that's connected then once you got all that connected you just double check make sure everything's open this could be clamped if you want you don't have to but it's a it says it's supposed to be make sure make sure all, all your make sure all your blue lines are open make sure your orange lines are open there's a yellow line that's not connected and that won't be connected um you can clamp it if you want to but it's not gonna it doesn't do anything right now so i just put it out of the way i slide this back closed so all my lines are kind of out. Make sure everything's as clean as you want it to be. And then you push the green button that goes through its testing process. Sometimes it'll start right up. Now it tells you it's got seven hours and 17 minutes to make this batch of dialysate. It'll and go through its testing. Sometimes you'll get an error here that'll say pressure low or something, and there's a simple way to fix it. But if that happens, I'll show you. But it only happens about half the time. So, so when you have this, Casey, is it going at this point? It's going right now. It, um, it takes a few minutes to actually start making the batch. I don't know what it's doing. It's thinking or something right now, but <laughs> it'll start doing it in a minute. So at this phase of it, your batch is making. You're pretty much done for now until it starts, see now it starts going. See, did it say? There it goes. Encoder test. Sometimes it'll say pressure low, retrying, or some, something like that, but if that's the case, we will show you how to fix it, but usually it should just go. If it does fail, it'll beep at you and stop, and you gotta re reset it and start it over. Now it's checking the output pressures. This is just to give you guys an idea of what the pure flow reads when you're setting up a new batch, obviously. This is, just so you guys know, like you probably already know, this is your filter side. So now it's load testing and it should go through, if it passes the load test, it should start filling. This is your actual pack. This is your filter to everything. It's, we'll do, show you how to change that in another video. It's not super difficult, but it's pretty heavy. Ours is about ready to change for about two weeks. You can see it's load testing, it's showing all the dialysate running through. Making sure everything's working. This piece right here <laughs> always seems to be in the way. We call it the chicken foot. But this piece always, always needs to stay sanitary as well. You always want to make sure these things are tight, these little caps, because you hate for that stuff to squirt everywhere. And if this were to hit my floor, we would have to drain the sack, which takes how long, bit? Yeah, if, if you like get any of these dirty, then you can't use them. 
So we keep it in here while he makes the set. And then after we get two treatments out of a 60 liter sack, which this is. So we keep it, the chicken foot in there while it loads. And then after first treatment, I put it in here just to make sure it doesn't get knocked out in any way, shape, or form. Just to hold it. It's going pretty good right now. So, no alarms, and it is going to be ready for us to start dialysis in the morning. In seven hours. Seven Ooh. hours and four minutes to fill it. And then, I of course, close the door a little. Not that it makes a difference, guys, but... And it does, Casey, it makes noises pretty much all through the night, right? Yeah, I don't keep making noises. Okay. It likes to recycle, so that was... it, recycle itself all the time, so it turns on and cycles and turns off. And... and that was a pretty simple showing you guys how to do it. You know, it says it's making noises. Just so you see, when you know it's actually moving along. But putting, when you put this piece in, like he did, the actual dialysate sack, I cannot express to you how important it is to center it. Because if you don't center it, it's gonna throw an alarm at you because it's not going to be able to fill correctly. Once you're all done filling this bag, it's going to tell you you have to test the dialysate in the machine and make sure that the dialysate's at the proper levels, pH levels, all that kind of stuff, so that you aren't using bad, a bad mix. If the mix was to be bad, you got to throw the whole thing out and start over. So tomorrow morning, we'll do a video on testing the chloramides in it, making sure our water's good, making sure the pack is doing its job and filtering out any of our water that may not be good. And that is the Pure Flow Sack.